fell on the tip. <laughs> this is a pretty big deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not everyone can say that. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a short film. Yeah. Uh, you gotta make that disclaimer, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, for me, it's a very big deal, and I'm very proud and excited. Can you uh, describe it to us? Sure. Um, it's a hard one to sort of explain without ruining. Of course. But uh, it's it's called uh, Method. Uh, it's about a uh, police officer who uh, uh, is uh, dealing with some performance anxiety. Right. Um, yeah. That's pretty much all I can say. And at what point did you uh, decide to, like, when did this start? Um, I sort of, uh, let's see, what, it started right when I first started working on Rookie Blue, which was, you know, I guess four years ago. Uh, right. um, I started thinking about, um, yeah, I, basically I started walking around Toronto dressed like a cop and everybody thought I was a real cop and it just sort of got me thinking about uh, stories. Right. Um, and, and, uh, and I, I sort of had this idea for, for a little short story, and I thought about it for a couple of years. I tried to write it down a couple of times, but I hate everything I write, even emails. Like, I just I can't stand <laughs> anything I write. Um, and so I gave up. And then one day I was with Peter Mooney, who uh, I, I work with as well, and, mm. uh, and I kind of pitched him the idea, and he liked it. And by the time I got home that evening, I had an email from him, and he'd already written the entire script. Wow. And, and I loved it. It sort of took, you know, kind of my idea, expanded on it, and... Uh, and I called him up that night, I was like, Let, let's make this. And uh, that was about a year ago, so uh, that was kind of the whole the whole journey. Was it hard to get it up and running, or was it just kind of like, oh, we, we've got things in place, it just knows? No, it, 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 was a, it was very hard, it was a lot of work. Uh, you know, making a short film, um, it doesn't cost as much right. as uh, you know a feature, but there's just as much work. All right. the things you have to do on a feature, you you have to do on a short. So uh, it's a tremendous. It was a tremendous amount of work. It took a year from you know the moment I read that script until we finished the film. Um, but it was a dream come true. You know, we got to basically work with all of our best friends, everybody that I worked with over the years that I really liked and that I wanted to work with. One day, I sort of got to. Call them up and and uh, and pick sort of my favorite people, actors, crew, and and then it was just like a, a family environment on set. So it was uh, the shooting itself went very smooth. We always finished on time or early, and and then uh, the editing was a blast. So it was a, a wonderful experience. Did you ever think for a minute, oh, I, I want to be in this? Um, no, because there was never a part. Uh, right. um, I mean, I, I love uh, sort of being in something and also directing it. I I, I do it on on, on Rookie Blue and. I, I think it's a real thrill, um, but uh, for in, in this case, it wasn't. Uh, there wasn't a part, so I, I never thought about it. Although I, I do do voice in uh, 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 in one scene. Uh, oh really? I, I, I yeah, missed my, that. Yeah, that, that is my voice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So, do you ever? I mean, is this like a stepping stone? Do you feel like the next step is feature film or more shorts or? I mean, do you see yourself going down that road? Yeah, I mean, uh, making the feature has been a dream for as long as I can remember. So this is definitely, uh, I hope, a stepping stone. I don't know if I'll go right from here to a feature. I might have to do one or two more shorts. But uh, uh, as soon as the right kind of script and idea comes along and I, and I have a chance to make it, uh, that's uh, going to be my number one priority. Well, and TIFF must be a great place to launch uh, a short film. I yeah, mean. yeah it's, it's, it's crazy. I've been going to film festivals. I used to work on a show called Everwood. Yes. And I lived in Park City, and I went to Sundance eight years in a row. And, and then I moved uh, to Toronto to work on Rookie Blue. And I, so I've been at TIFF five years in a row. And uh, I, I've always dreamed of having my own sort of piece of work, you know, uh, on in one of these screens. So it's, it, it's pretty surreal. How do you imagine it's going to go since it's kind of your first time as a, a director at, at TIFF? Um, I don't know. I'm just sort of trying to keep an open mind. I've had lots of films uh, in festivals as an actor, so I, I've kind of been through the cycle before. Um, but in terms of this, it's you know my, my expectations are realistic because it's a short it's part of the program. Um, uh, so I, I know that it's you know uh, not going to be. It's not like it would as much work or as much pressure as if it was a feature. We're not necessarily trying to sell it or anything. Right. We're just kind of sharing it. Um, so I'm just trying to keep an open mind, have fun. We had our first review came out today that was really, really good. So Amazing. that was the first thing I've ever done that's ever been reviewed in any way, which you know was was kind of cool. <laughs> Does that change it for you though? I mean, there's one point where you're making a film, you're making something, and then all of a sudden it's out, it's reviewed, it's public. I mean, what's that moment like then? Especially um, since it's so fresh. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of like you know, reviews are like a kind of a thing you you kind of. Um, you know, you can't pay, whether they're really good or really bad, you can't 
pay you know too much attention to them. Otherwise, right. you know you can't please everybody. Or you'll drive yourself crazy, and you you know you'll never want to do anything ever again. <laughs> um, the fact that this was a nice one was kind of a fun little thing, but um, you got to take them all sort of with a grain of salt and kind of keep you know on your path. It's it's very much like when you're in production. You know you're gonna have a million ideas, a million different problems and things that are gonna be flying at you, and you have to sort of digest everything, but stay on the, uh, you know, on course, and I, th I think reviews are kind of the same way. Right. And is there a balance for you that you want to take forward where you're doing acting and you're doing directing? Yeah, I mean, I'd love to do both for as long as I can. You know, I think uh, each makes me better at the other, mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't think I could choose between one or the other. You know, directing's newer and more romantic uh, right now, but um, but I, I love them both equally. Yeah. Hope to keep doing them for a long time. Is there, in terms of TIFF this year, is there someone that you're hoping you bump into or meet or? Um, not, 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 not necessarily. I mean, there's a lot of uh, the nice thing about TIFF uh, is you always like for well, for me at least because I've been going you know I've been doing this for a long time so uh, uh, I'm looking you know you always, it's always nice to run into people you haven't seen in in years that you like and. You know, I know Mickey Liddell, who created uh, Everwood, was one of the co-creators of right. has a film here that I'm going to go see. Oh, so, that's cool. So it would be nice to kind of run into him um, and, uh, you know, different friends and stuff. But there's nobody, like, um, that, uh, you know, uh, I'm really hoping that I get the You're chance to meet anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> is is TIFF kind of then like a family reunion? Because it's people you don't always see, they just come through on certain things. Yeah, I mean, any sort of festival yeah. is very much like that, you know. Um, yeah, it's, it's a family reunion with like really great entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Is there something you're looking forward to seeing this year, TIFF? Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, The Grand Seduction, uh, right. Don McKellar's yes. uh, film, which I was able to get tickets to. Um, and... Usually, I, the movies I'm the, usually the movies that I know are going to come out in the theaters. I don't go and get tickets to, so a lot of the things I buy tickets to are real wild cards. Right. Um, uh, so I, I'm also going to go see, but not a wild card. I'm going to go see a documentary called The Square, which uh, I've heard is uh, fantastic. Um, so I usually like to see a lot of the uh, documentaries in the world uh, right. cinema. Um, so yeah, that's cool. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I hope you have a good tip. Thank you.